What flavour are these? Potpourri. They're not bad. Martin, congratulations, first of all, on Wild Target. Thank Great you. film, really enjoyed it. Thank yesterday. you. Can you start by telling us a little bit about Dixon? Dixon is uh, an assassin, and uh, he is a man, I think, of no uh, discernible conscience or guilt or uh, feeling for anything other than his job. Victor Maynard is, don't laugh, a uh, hitman. Uh, not something that I'm normally associated with. Um, and he's a very lonely guy. He's anally retentive and he's sort of isolated by that. Uh, it's not surprising that he's never had a girlfriend because he's such a sort of mess. Dixon feels there's one man maybe who could compete with him and that's Bill Nye's character, Victor. Uh, and in uh, some dramatic irony, I'm sent to kill Bill's character. And everything's going perfectly well and he kills people perfectly efficiently until he's required to kill Emily Blunt and he can't pull the trigger because she's too cute. And his mother, who was a hit person before him, is deeply offended by the fact that he won't get to work and kill her, so she tries to kill her instead. Victor Maynard! Ah! Oh. I love you! You're smoking in this film, you're shooting guns, you're handling a samurai sword. <laughs> so it's, it is a real big departure from Ron Weasley and the kind of roles we're used to seeing you in. So um, why that change and, and is that what attracted you to it? Yeah, kind of that, there's that and the combination of just, just good timing really. It just kind of came up at, at the right kind of sort of time. I was kind of, I kind of had a, it's usually quite hard to kind of fit things in in between. But this kind of came up at a kind of a little bit of a, a gap. And yeah, it was, it was nice that it was kind of really kind of a different kind of role and stuff. I like stuff where people are buttoned up and nailed down and or disabled by self-consciousness. Those are, those are, that's particularly if it's supposed to be amusing. I find that quite good value. I knew Bill was involved. I like Bill very much. And, uh, and Emily Blunt, of course, is a fantastic actor. The Rupert's, you know, I mean, it's, it, there's, there's too much going for it, you know. I just love the script, really. I think it was just, just a really kind of... Quite a, quite a quirky kind of, quite dark kind of comedy, really. So yeah, that was kind of, kind of, kind of what I liked about it. Not long to go now. Oh! 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 Ah! Ah! Bros! Not long for you two either. That gun's dangerous. You don't say. Hands up. N no, you must understand. I keep that gun for sentimental reasons. Don't shoot. It can blow up in your face. You're a liar and you're a killer. And you're a thief. You're made for each other. And so, uh, just finally, uh, can you sell Wild Target to us in four words? Okay, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's quite a fast pace. In four words, oh my God. Um, Smart, witty. Uh, dark comedy. Dark. <laughs> and chic. Yeah, one more. It's just, yeah, it's just really funny, I think. Can you send me Wild Target in four words? No, I bloody can't. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time, Martin. Pleasure talking nice to you. Nice to meet you. She's completely out of control. <laughs> With killers after you, you're discreet. You hide. <laughs> you don't yell in hotel lobbies. He tries to kill me!